Lesson 4-5, solving two-step equations. Okay, now that we're experts at solving one-step equations, let's try a few problems that are slightly more difficult. Let's consider the equation 3x minus 5 equals 22. Now, when we were solving one-step equations, a lot of you may have been asking to yourself, these are really simple. Why do I even have to bother showing my work or thinking about inverse operations? Well, as you can probably see already, when attempting to solve two-step equations, the answer will not always be quite so obvious, which is why we have to be really good at showing our work, you know, showing our work step-by-step step and using inverse operations. So the first step in solving two-step equations is going to be to figure out or determine which operations you're working with. Now in this equation, we are working with two operations, multiplication and subtraction. But the question is, which operation do we undo first, multiplication or subtraction? Well, I can tell you through experience that it's normally easiest to undo subtraction and addition before undoing multiplication and division. So that's exactly what we will do. On the left hand side of this equation, we are subtracting 5. But what is the inverse operation of subtraction? Addition. So we will add 5 on the left side and of course to balance it on the right side. On the left side, negative 5 plus 5 is a 0 pair, so we can cross those out. We are left with 3x equals, on the right hand side, 22 plus 5 is 27. We are now left with a simple one-step equation. 3 times some number is 27. Well, the opposite, or inverse of multiplying by 3, is dividing by 3 on both sides. 3 over 3 is simply 1x. And on the right-hand side, 27 divided by 3 gives us 9. So 9 is our solution. And we will now check to make sure that we are correct. And we will do that by plugging in our solution to our original equation. 3 times, instead of x, 9. 3 times 9 minus 5 should equal 22, if our solution is correct. Using order of operations, 3 times 9 is 27. And 27 minus 5 does give us 22. So our solution checks out. Let's try a couple more. Let's consider the equation negative 4x plus 6 equals 14. Okay, we will start by identifying the operations that we're working with. In this case, we are working with multiplication and addition. So these are the two operations that we have to undo in order to solve for the variable. Okay, so as stated before, it's usually easiest to undo addition and subtraction before multiplication and division. So we will undo addition of 6. So what's the opposite of adding 6? Well, subtracting 6 from each side. On the left-hand side, plus 6 and minus 6 can be crossed out because that has a value of 0. We are left with negative 4x equals, well, on the right-hand side, 14 minus 6 is 8. And once again, just like before, we're left with a simple one-step equation. The opposite of multiplying by negative 4 would be dividing by negative 4 on both sides. Negative 4 over negative 4 is simply 1, so we are left with 1x equals 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2. Let's check our solution negative 4 times, instead of x, we will plug in negative 2 plus 6 should equal 14. Let's see. Negative 4 times negative 2 is 8. And 8 plus 6 gives us 14. Okay. Let's try one more. Let's consider the equation x over 6 minus 2 equals 4. Okay, 
In this equation, we are working with two operations, but this time we're working with division and subtraction. Okay, so which operation will we undo first? Well, as I've stated a couple of times, usually easiest to undo addition and subtraction before we undo a division and multiplication. So we will undo subtraction first. Okay, what is the opposite of subtracting to? Well, the opposite would be to add to on each side. On the left hand side, negative 2 and plus 2 is a zero pair. So we, we are left with x over 6 equals, on the right hand side, 4 plus 2 is 6. Now, on the left hand side I have x over 6, which is the same thing as x divided by 6, so we are going to think what is the opposite of dividing by 6. Well, that would be multiplying by 6 on each side. Okay, so on the left we have 6 we have 6 divided by 6, which gives us 1. We're left with x equals 6 times 6 is 36. So x equals 36 is our solution. And we will plug that solution into our original equation to make sure we're correct. Thirty-six over six minus two should equal four. Thirty-six divided by six is six, and six minus two equals four. So our solution once again checks out.